Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn about burn down chart, which is one of the agile reports. So burn down chart actually tracks the total work remaining and project the likelihood of achieving your sprint goal. So as you know, in agile development methodology, you plan your work within the sprints, which is time box two to four week cycle. And based on whatever you have planned you put that in that particular sprint and you then track the progress how the tasks are being progressed day by day and burn down chart allows you to see the progress based on the story points of time remaining to achieve those tasks within that particular two to four week cycle so this helps your team to manage progress and respond accordingly so for example on day three of the sprint you figure out that the progress hasn't been made much uh, because of some blocker issue then you can identify where the where the issues are and resolve them immediately in order to for your team to progress further so to get started um, you you need to select the project for which you want to find the report and then go to reports section and click on burn down chart so it will open the burn down chart for you so you have to select the sprint so mostly it will be the current sprint that you are tracking uh, and then there are multiple options available to select or multiple burn down chart available based on either story point or the estimate or issue count or the remaining time estimate all right so but we'll cover each one by one so let's let's see uh, the story points first so as you see this is sample sprint and this has been completed already so the red line here is the actual progress that has been made for the story point so for example on first day of the sprint the total planned points were 18 points right and on 27th of march there were three points that were completed so that came down to 15 points on that 27th of march then again there was no progress until 28th 29th uh, and 30th by the team and then on 30th there were you know like uh, five story points that have been done all right so it, it shows you the actual progress or the how many story points are being burned um, on on particular day or um, how the progress is going on and then the gray line here is the ideal scenario how it should look like the burn down chart but that's that's very unlikely that's not going to happen um so it will be you know, like either on particular day the team will be able to achieve or complete more points and there will be some other days wherein team won't be able, able to achieve because they'll the, the work in progress um, for example for a particular task there it will need two days to complete then for next two days that person won't be able to claim the points and if you if you see below uh, you'll see the chart here which shows or basically the table which shows how many shoes were planned in the sprint including uh, the story points and then based on the date when which particular issue was completed so and then how many story points got decreased and at the end you will see that these were well, the story point ended and the two story points were not completed were still remaining right so that's how you track burn down chart uh, based on story points similarly you can do it for the issue count how the issue count is reducing in that particular sprint so these are the issues that you have planned and how the issues have been reduced uh, on what particular day which issue has been resolved the other option is you can do it by original time estimate because there hasn't been any time uh, estimate done for these tasks so you don't see any burn down chart for the time estimate but if you have done the time estimate for the issues then you will see the burn down chart based on the original time estimate and remaining time estimate so as soon as your you time estimate the the issue and then your team logs in the time they have spent on that particular issue you'll see similar burn down chart as you have seen for the uh, story points 
uh, for the time estimates as well. So that is all about the burn down chart in Agile reports. In next tutorial, we will learn about the sprint reports. Thank you.